This video provides packing and shipping instructions for checking the cost of gun violence. The first thing you need to do is to gather up the 89 shell casings that were used for the display. You can pack the shell casings in their special box. Place all the shell casings in the small rectangular box labeled 89 shell casings. On top of that, you can place the plastic bag of extra shell casings. These were provided just in case some of the shell casings were stolen or taken during the display. Ideally, the entire artwork should be covered with a plastic vitrine to avoid this problem. Close the lid of the box. Tie the 89 shell casing box shut with the ribbon. Please don't use tape. The next thing you need to do is to remove the gun for safe shipping. Remove the gun handle before shipping. To do this, you pull out the metallic arrow-shaped piece of metal below the barrel. That's barrel. It's indicated in this photo with the yellow arrow. When you pull that out, the, ro the cylinder will rotate to the side. And then you can look down the gun barrel and you'll see a small screw. Unscrew this using a knife or screwdriver to remove the gun. Please replace the screw back into the handle so it's not lost. Now you can pack the gun. Pack the gun in its own box. It fits snugly in the yellow flannel covered foam. Then you place a flannel foam layer on top of the gun. Tie the box shut. Please don't use tape. Outside of the box is taped the certification from the Pittsburgh Police Gun Buyback Program that allows for the legal transport of this gun. Put this box aside. Now you need to pack the blood. So you slide the blood layer into its custom flannel pouch between the flannel layers. Please be careful not to bend the metal blood layer. It fits neatly inside the bag. Then you can fold over the flannel flap and slide the flannel bag into the custom cardboard box prepared for safe shipping. Close the custom cardboard box for the blood and now you'll see the pink ribbon which you can tie shut. Please, no tape on this box. It just ruins the box, especially for a traveling show where boxes are opened and closed. Use the ribbons, please. Now we need to pack the check writing machine. Caution, this is very heavy. Do not drop. Pick up the machine with the body, not the handle. Open the interior shipping box and place the pink ribbons to the side. Place the machine in the box. Insert the back and front foam layers. Then you add a layer of yellow foam on top and avoid laying this foam on the label that says each day. This yellow foam layer goes over the buttons of the machine. Tie the pink ribbons front to back holding both the back and front foam layer plus the top yellow foam all together snugly around the machine. Note how the machine handle is in the middle of the box. Add the side foam on the right and also add the left side foam. Tie the pink ribbon across the top, side to side. This holds both the side foams in place. Add the top yellow foam. This keeps the machine from moving up and down inside the box. The bullet box fits on the side or in the corner. 
The check writing machine should be held tightly in place. Everything is snug. There should be no movement or noise of anything shifting inside the box during shipping. Insert the blue foam in the corners and insert bubble wrap in any empty spaces. Layer bubble wrap on top. Close the check writing machine box. You can use tape and place this in a larger shipping box with lots of bubble wrap underneath. The box with the gun fits on the side. Notice how it has the City of Pittsburgh certification from the gun buyback program attached to the box. Add bubble wrap all around both boxes. Everything should be snug. There should be no room for movement during shipping. Add more bubble wrap. Tape the box shut. Ship only by USPS registered mail. Never, never, never use UPS. UPS is too rough. They drop and throw the boxes. UPS does not ensure one-of-a-kind artwork. This gives them leverage to refuse your claim if the work is damaged during shipping. And FedEx is also okay, but they cost twice UPS for the same weight and insurance value. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget that there are detailed shipping instructions with pictures that are provided in the box. Please don't lose these shipping instructions. Please do not separate the bullets, the blood, and the check writing machine from their exterior shipping box. Keep them all together. The voice of experience from many years of traveling shows says this always leads to problems. Keep all the boxes together in one box. Look for the next video on display instructions.